at 197 pounds. There's Drew Sparks of Cleveland State, a freshman with only six varsity matches in his resume. One win, and he's up against Zeb Miller, another freshman from Kent State, who's 9-7 this year. Battle of freshmen. But there is a difference. Miller, a redshirt freshman, meaning he set out last year, whereas Sparks is a true freshman. This is his first year of collegiate wrestling. And that one year of college wrestling is so important. Even if you're redshirting? Oh, yeah, you're still, you're still around. You're still uh, active in the room a little bit. You're working out. You, you can go to some open tournaments and just taste what the college life is like, especially wrestling. It's at such a different level than high school. This is a match Kent probably is looking to, to win big here. Sparks. Oh. Nice shot there. Nice fight by Sparks. He's a state runner-up as a junior and a placer the next year. He's been an exceptional high school wrestler and also an exceptional football player. Wow, I'm impressed by the movement on both these boys. Yeah, these aren't exactly 125 pounders we're talking about. But we're seeing some good technique. Both guys attacking and defending very well. Nice little drop in on a single there for Sparks, and he converts it. He's got to be careful. He's getting a little high here. And the reversal makes it two apiece. Sparks wrestled 215 last year at uh, Warren Howell High School. There was an example of a freshman mistake, Brian. You get the takedown, and right away, he rushes the legs in, and boom, off he goes. Miller, a 171-pounder in high school. Comes from a great family of wrestlers. Three of his brothers were state champs, and I think he would have been, had he not been hurt, he missed his entire junior year. And really was not quite himself even his senior year. I think Drew would have trouble here with the legs in college. That's always the hard thing your first year of college, the way kids throw legs compared to high school. Sparks leading 3-2 here late in the first period. This takedown followed by quickly by a reverse by Miller and now an escape. And you hear a coach yelling inside, inside. That's all I hear him yelling anymore. <laughs> Well, if you want to take someone down, you got to get that inside control. Yep. Twelve seconds to go here. You can see the clock in the background. Sparks is hanging tough. Oh, he gives up the takedown with one second to go. And it's 4-3 Miller at the end of the period. Miller on top. Sparks did take the down position. That's very surprising. Oh. He's got to get out quicker. He's just given up the riding time differential now, a minute and 50 seconds. I was very surprised by that because all the mannerisms by Sparks, he just looks like a tired wrestler. And he had such a hard time getting out last period. Back point there. Oh, uh, we're looking turn now. We're looking at a fall possibly here. Oh, good fight. And the three period near fall now makes it nine four. And now it may be just a question of spark surviving. I just think keep, you're just keeping it a regular decision, right? And a warning now on Sparks. He's not doing much as you suggested, and he's tired. Half a uh, minute to go. And a minute's a long time in a college match. Another near fall here would, would give him a major decision. And every point with only 10 matches in a college match is very valuable. Looks like he's got him again. And the battle ends. 
Add in the riding time point, and it's a 10-4 win for Zeb Miller. The junior from Kent State gives them a 9-3 lead right now. Okay, we're up to the heavy.